Hi, thanks for watching Aquarium Tech. Today I was just going to do a general video on test kits. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions about it. It's come up in many discussions, so figured I'd do a uh, little video on it. So, anyways, we'll jump right in. And uh, you know what? First off, I'll go ahead and say this is not a mastered area in aquatics. All right. Uh, you know, there's a lot of test kits that are put out there that are inaccurate, and I'll explain what I'm talking about here in a minute. And, there, you know, there's a lot of, you know, just stuff that doesn't work, and, and even the higher-end stuff isn't perfect. So, this is definitely by no means a mastered, you know, field in aquatics. Unless you have some kind of scientific equipment, it's definitely, uh, you know, nowhere near perfection. So... Anyways, I don't, I don't have strip tests, but I'll, I'll go ahead and start with them. Strip tests basically have like a little, there's usually like a little piece of paper, you know, like a little, almost like a popsicle stick kind of thing. And it'll have a little patch of some chemical reactant, all right? And basically, you'll just dip that into the water and it's supposed to react and then you pull it up to a color chart and that tells you how much... Uh, of whatever, you know, ammonia nitrate or whatever is supposed to be in your water. Now those are total garbage. First, they're just garbage. That's the easiest way to put it. They are garbage. Alright? All of them. And no, e even if they weren't, there's like so many factors that go into them because they, you know, they you can easily react to the moisture in the air. They, you know, they don't really have too much of a shelf life. The, the amount of actual chemical reactant can vary in them. Uh, I mean, there's, a, there's just like a list of things. The temperature, the air affects it, and you don't, and you know, you usually don't leave it in the water when you, you know, when you're when you're looking at the colors and testing it. So, it's an actual, you know, it's kind of a, it, it can be kind of a big deal. So, it can actually, you know, skew your test off. So, I mean, that, that's not what you're supposed. You're not supposed to leave it in the water, though. So, it, it you know. I'm just saying that's just another area where you can judge it for an accuracy. I wish I could save some of the ones like uh, I, I used to work at a pet store, a big pet store, so they used to have the strips, and sometimes I would just use them just to, j just to you know maybe get an approximation if I was worried about something. But they were like so far off. I mean, I think one time it said like my nitrates were like above 80 or something like that and then I did a real test and my nitrates were like 10 or something I mean it, it was it was really bad I wish I could take some pictures of them I mean they were like they were just off and while I'm still on strips I, I happen to have an old one of these things that I don't really use and uh, basically what what you do is you hang it in your tank and this is, I mean, there's a few others like it, but this is basically your, this is supposed to be one of your better ones, per se, but they, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen them, they have like an ammonia thing, and they have a pH thing, and you're supposed to leave it in your tank, and it tells you, you know, what your ammonia and pH is at all times, get away, and, uh, these don't work either, these basically work on the same, same principle as strips do. Uh, and, and these are total garbage. I, I use this thing, and I mean, it was like, you, you couldn't even really read it anyways. Here, I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see a little better. It also has like a little temperature scale on them. There's a lot of different versions of them. And in fact, Seachem makes one, and I think that's the only product Seachem probably would ever makes that I would you know, refuse to buy. I mean, these things are just total garbage. See, the strips are here and judge that color against or the colors that are on here and it's supposed to tell you your water results so so these are in the same bucket of strips same garbage can rather so throw it out now then the other type is your liquid test kits like this you know they usually have you know liquid that you mix in a vial like this and uh you know, you just mix it up in there, and depending on the direction, it can highly vary. Sometimes it even comes with powder, but basically, the point is you're mixing water in some kind of vial, is, is really what it is. So, But anyway, so this is mostly going to be about the liquid test and, and stuff like that. I mean, they don't just come in liquids, like some of these are powder. I think some of them come, in, come with some powder and stuff, but uh, 
anyways, so there's, and, and even these tests, there's actually a lot that goes into uh, making it accurate. I mean, everything from the how much water you put in the vial, uh, which is why in my test kits, I usually have a dropper of some sort so I can actually measure it. I just use that to measure the water when I start getting close to the, uh, you know, the amount of water that I'm supposed to put in there. Uh, also, you know, depending how long you shake, because, you know, you usually have to shake the vial, you know, how well you follow the directions. I mean, there, there's a lot of factors that go into this, too, but it's just, uh, I think it's a little bit, uh, it's, it's a little bit more controlled, per se, uh, with the liquid stuff. So, it usually leads to a little bit better accuracy and results. But now I'll just start talking about, in general, you know, what test kits to, before I go any more in depth with what I was saying, test kits, you know, what to look for when you're buying test kits. Uh, now this one is kind of a low-end one. This one's very common, the API Freshwater Master Kit. It's actually a pretty good deal. They're only like 20, 30 bucks. They come with the four main things you need, uh, ammonia, pH, nitrate, and nitrite. Uh, and I think it has like a high range pH too, so if you have like a cichlid tank, because the pH only does a certain range, the regular pH one. Uh, but the accuracy of this is not, you know, it's, I, I, I don't, I really don't want to say it's not up to par. Alright, and, and also, before I go to the beginning, this is still an area in aquatics that hasn't been quite mastered yet, or, or conquered per se on the, on the uh, consumer market. Uh, really, the, the the best way to get accurate results is if you have like scientific tools and stuff. I mean, just just the test kits they just quite aren't quite mastered yet. Now the higher end ones, which I'll get to, uh, you know, th they'll pretty much get you what you want, but they are costly. So, but anyway, so like I was saying, this is a just a cheap one, uh, but y you know, it'll get the job done. It's better than strips, so. And this is what, and a lot of the store, a lot of the smaller stores that don't use strips, they'll probably use this or something comparable. Then usually, like level up is, oh, I wish I would. I, I have a salt water test kit too. I wish I brought it out. But anyways, like the next, usually the next step up, you know, brand wise, is stuff like Seachem, uh, Salifert, uh, or Salifert, however you pronounce it, and. And those are definitely good tests. You, you have to pay a little bit more, but it's actually, pr I have to say, they're pretty accurate. Especially Seachems and Sally Fritz. They're pretty accurate. They're a pretty good bang for your buck. But there's some other ones in that middle range with them that, you know, are basically the same thing as this, kind of a waste of money. Uh, and, I'll, and, and I'll get to why these test kits are good in a minute. And then probably the best that I found, and this is what I now personally use, is the Elos. Uh, or Elos or Elos or whatever. Uh, I just pulled out a few of them here. I mean, they make them for everything. What I have here is, let's see, I have phosphates. This one's phosphates. This one's nitrates. This one's ammonia. And the bottom one here is carbonate hardness. This is just a few that I pulled out. And these, like I said, are probably the best test kits I've seen on the market. They have, they have everything you could possibly want in them and they, and they come with a lot of tests too per per unit uh, and and not only that they, they have a pretty long uh, shelf life too because another thing is uh, th these things do expire too they they do have a limited shelf life but definitely a longer one than strips so but these test kits uh, are very the, the Elos ones are very expensive I mean just I think just the nitrate one was the same price as this, or close to the same price as this entire test kit. I mean, it was like 25, 30 bucks just, just for one of them. I think the other ones were cheaper. Like, I think this one was like 15 bucks, and the one was like 20 or something like that. But the point is that it gets expensive, but to me, it's all about accuracy. To me, I, I see why test it if it's going to be inaccurate anyways. That's the way I see it, because I always log my test results and stuff. I like to see what's going on in my tank. I like to, uh, you, you know, re, you know, kind of look and real, you know, learn things about aquatics on my own time, 
and you know by my own hand so it's kind of nice to basically do my own research you know, per se so anyways now what what makes these test kits good um, besides just chemicals and branding and stuff that's in there and and, and, the, and that, that's what a lot of it is alright there, there's a few things to look for alright price price I'll be honest price is actually one of them but price doesn't you know that that's not uh, you, you know that you can't just go by that I mean you can find a super expensive test kit out there that's even more expensive than these and it could suck but generally price is a good way to gauge it uh, uh, another good way, another great way, is if it has a self-tester, if it can actually self-test or calibrate its own test. Uh, like this, this, like, you know, it just tests your water, you know, there's no way for you to test it. And, I, and that's why I like the C-chems, the, the C-chems are a great deal for, for uh, what you get there. You know, they have the self, I think they're called self-calibration or self-test, I, I can't remember the name of it, so... That, that, that's one thing that makes it. Also, I've noticed the the, the companies that, that sell the, uh, the, the, the kits with things besides just nitrate, pH, uh, let me think, nitrate, ammonia, pH, and nitrite are usually the ones that also have better test kits. Now this, like, this is a very general statement, okay? This is not necessarily true. But, you know, that sell things like uh, pho phosphate test kits or test, uh, you know, carbonate hardness and general hardness. I've noticed they usually put out better ones. L like, uh, for, like, for instance, th this, I, I know API now, you know, they, they make, they do make those tests or at least some of them. But, you know, you can't buy them in a kit, you know, you have to buy them individually and they're usually pretty expensive anyway, so... That, 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 that's a very general way, but I'm just trying to think of everything I can to help you, uh, you know, figure out what's good for you. Alright? And also, just, just by looking at, you know, what it comes with and the way it's packaged will also help you too. Like this is just kind of, uh, they, they do give you vials, you know, they do give you nice glass vials and stuff. And this is why I think this test kit is actually very... Is, is a good price for what it is, but it's not very accurate, which is why I don't really use it anymore. But on the same token, you know, these kind of, I mean, these are individual tests. I mean, it comes with this really nice box. I mean, you know, th this is the ammonium one here. I mean, look at this. Look at all this stuff it comes with for one test. I mean, you've got... By, by the way, this little squirter I used did not come with this API test kit, so let's move that out of the way. If you see here, this one actually comes with my own little uh, dropper there, or syringe. It comes with, because this one actually uses some powder for part of it, it actually comes with a little scooper here to actually scoop out and measure the powder. And also another way to look, do, uh, look, look at the directions, you know, if, if they, you know, they try to tell you, you know, you know anything about the density of what that should be in there, or... You know, just things to look for when you're conducting the test, all right? I mean, this is also a glass vial, and it's also got another vial in there for some of the stuff that, that you have to add. And then it's also got two droppers, and I think one of these is to self-calibrate it. Uh, so, but, but as you can see, I mean, for one test, this is really nice as compared to, I mean... This is just ammonia right here. Let me move this over to the side. This is what you get just for one ammonia test. And what you get for ammonia on here is basically just the test and a vial. That's it. So, I mean, it's... And that's why I'm saying that's another good way to gauge it is on how much actually comes with it in the direction so good to pay attention to the details of it and I think that's probably about it for a ge little general video on test kits there uh, so with that uh, we'll just review you, you know what makes a good test kit you know gen generally between price what it comes with directions uh, even just the brand name 
there's a good way to look at it. And like I said, this is not a master field in, in consumer aquatics just yet. And also, I kind of talk, talk briefly about what test kits are good and bad. So, and, and, and those, I, you know, I don't want to speak for anything I really haven't used before. So I know there's a lot of other test kits out there, but you know, the ones I can only, you know, really speak for, besides saying that strips are crap, uh, you know, is the APIs and the Red C Max, they're kind of on the low, you know, bargain price end. Uh, the, well, the Red C Max might be, you know, a little more towards the middle of the line. Then you've got like Seachem and Sally Furt, they're middle, you know, middle of the road towards high end. And then you've got the Elos here, which are probably the pinnacle. So, all right. If you have any questions, feel free to ask or go ahead and send me a PM there. I know this is kind of a uh, complicated area in, in aquatics, and this is why this is just a general video. All right. So, and, and, and if you guys have any requests too, I can always, you know, do do this, do a video that's more in depth about testing, water testing. All right. So that's about it. The only other thing I'll tell you is, listen, follow your directions closely that will give you a more accurate result. That's probably the best thing you can possibly do, even if you have something like this. You know, the best thing you can do is follow your directions as closely as possible, all right? So uh, that's about it. PM me if you have any questions. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, we'll